you were around in the early 2010s, then you probably remember the Ebola virus. This virus caused a large outbreak that quickly spread from West Africa to other countries like the United States and the United Kingdom. Let's talk about it. The Ebola virus is part of the Phyloviridae family of viruses. This means thread-like, which indicates its thread-like appearance. Phyloviruses are spread mostly through contact with other animal species such as apes and fruit bats. And unfortunately, because of their extremely virulent properties, they are one of the most dangerous family of viruses in all of nature. Common symptoms of Ebola include hemorrhagic fevers, which are usually due to internal and external bleeding, as well as small petechiae that form on the surface of the infected skin, which usually has a bruise-like appearance, like a reddish, brownish, or blackish color. The Phyloviridae family of RNA viruses are negative sense, meaning that they must come up with their own RNA polymerase in order to replicate within host cells. They are also enveloped, which means that they have a protective layer surrounding their capsule and allows them to further penetrate into host cells as well as protection against extracellular pathogens. Like I said previously, the Ebola virus mainly spreads through contact with other animals. This can come in the form of contact of bodily fluids such as urine, saliva, or blood. This is usually very detrimental to the host. The Ebola virus had a huge outbreak in 2014 to 2016 with over 28,000 cases and 11,000 deaths. Fatality was common, but thankfully, even with all this being said, there's very little need to worry about the Ebola virus. There have been treatment plans and vaccines put in place to prevent the spread of it in affected countries. And if you happen to live in a developed country like the United States or the United Kingdom, there is even less need to worry since the risk of it spreading is even lower. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.